Lovely, jubbly. Well, it is the launch of the brand new one day special. We've got options for you, but already it's going and you are finding the complete collection. But of course, we're going to show you what you're getting. There's beautiful stamps. There's beautiful dies. There's wonderful paper pads. We've got die cut, blo die cut blocks, all sorts. Uh, so Lou's not quite ready yet to chat to us on Sky, so, uh, Skype, Skype, Sky, Skype. Uh, so we're going to start off. This is your first option of your one day special. This is called your vintage type. And of course, the clue's in the name because we have a fabulous typewriter at the top here. And it's really cool. It's really eclectic and it's really lovely and stylish. Uh, sorry, that's your stamp, isn't it? Not your die. That's your set of stamps. You've also got a sentiment there as well. But how cool is this? I like it because it's even got like um, some foliage around it and a little flower. It's really nice. And then also you've got your beautiful, very large flower uh, that you've got there. And you've got the envelope. Oh, it could be a love letter, couldn't it? That would be brilliant. Oh, I tell you what then, I think we do have our lovely Lou via Skype. Hello, Lou. Hello, my lovely. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I am liking the colours you're wearing. Ta -da! Good, you. <laughs> good stuff. Are you well? Yes, really, really well. Good. Um, we'll be running around the park when I get back to things. I need, I need to get out more. But yeah, yeah I am. How are you? Are yeah, you okay? I'm good. I'm still all good. Uh, we're all good here as well. Right then, how would you describe our fantastic two options of the one day special? Um, when I first got it, I thought this is sort of like it's quite eclectic because you've got um, a bit of vintage, a bit of sort of retro and stuff. And I thought it's really good. It's one of these to me, it's a collection that you've got something you think, oh, I need to do a card or I need to do this. And you can just pick this collection out and do one for everybody. Because I found I was doing grunge, I was doing like pretty, I was doing like just not cut and stick. I don't mean it like that, but able to use a dive box you know, book and just be able to make something really quick, but still quite classy. So I think it's something for everybody, really, and, and adaptable, very Absolutely. adaptable. Absolutely. And then maybe we can have a look at the uh, other option that we've got here, because it's really yeah. pretty, because in the second option, which is your ornate frame, you do have that lovely cameo, which I think is really pretty. It is. And um, you can do so much with the cameo because you've got the little cameo that you can put into your resins and things. You can make a little mould with that. But the big one, um, it's really clever because you can have it with or without the flowers yeah. and you can have it with or without the silhouette. So it, you've got one, two, three, four different dies in there and that's quite clever. So you can really, really adapt that one. And the other one is just so useful for everything, really. You can Absolutely. use it for anything. Well, I tell you what, Lou, because I know you, you bless you, you've sent in so many wonderful demonstrations um, via VT. We always appreciate it. Thank you. You're and uh, I've got to say thanks to the cameraman. <laughs> Is that your other half? <laughs> Indeed. All right. Thank you so much, Lou. Uh, have a good evening. Thank you. All right. Take care. I will do. I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you in person soon. Yes. Good stuff. That's what we want. Lovely, thank you. Uh, now, what would you like to do, Emily? Do you want one more quick look at them? Lovely. I'd better actually uh, show you the paper pad. Uh, a quick flick through. So, lots of you are already going for the complete collection, but this is the booklet that's going to, the paper pad that's going to come with your vintage uh, type. There you are. So, oh, nice. Uh, you've got uh, cardstock like this, like this. It's quite contemporary, isn't it? Oh, you've got some plain cardstock there. These are going to be good. You could get your distress inks on here, couldn't you? I am liking this. Lovely. So that's your paper pad that goes with the um, vi uh, what's it type. I don't know why I can't remember it. Vintage type, vintage type. There you go. And you can see the stamps and dies. And then we come up to our ornate frame. Again, you've got the um, stamps and the dies and they're brilliant together. But if I just paper, uh, to pick up the paper pad, that's not easy for me to say. And you can have a look. This is the paper pad that will come with the ornate frames. Very nice colours here. Um, it's one of those that you can't choose really between the two. Hang on, let's have a little flick through. But of course, that's why we have the complete collection because then you don't have to choose. We, uh, lovely, jubbly, look at all of those. Right. So £27.89 is the price. You've got a 10, so I want you to bear this in mind. Take that £10 saving from there and the £10 saving from there. So that's already £20 because that carries over and then some uh, for your complete collection. 
Next up then, we've got another fabulous, here we go, gonna see it here. This is another wonderful bundle that we've got for you. Stamps and die sets, and you've got a die cut block. I like the die cut blocks, I think they're so useful. Oh, must I mention the extended delivery on everything. It'll be from the 5th of June, uh, but again, not, not too long to wait. There we go, so we can see those wonderful stamps and die. It's cool, isn't it? Because you've got another like typewriter there. Uh, and then you've also got the, um, again, it's like quite a vintage camera. I like that you've also got, it's, it's sort of like the Polaroid um, type of camera, isn't it? Other brands are available. And you've got the little stamps at the bottom. And then another nice flick through our die cut block. Love these. This whole collection is called Happy Moments. But there you go. You've got all these wonderful images. Look, you've got retro um, record player. They're coming back into fashion, aren't they? And then you've got the camera there. You've got camper van. That's a very nice camper van. You've also got some uh, sentiments. Oh, look at those glasses. Oh, and a bit of ice cream. And uh, you've also got like the little beach hut there. These are fab. More sentiments, bunting. I really like there's a lovely cat. You've got a space there for you to put a sentiment. And uh, what else have we got? Lots of florals. Yeah, mm, lo lots of you are liking this. Oh, I like the signpost and a little caravan. Actually, it does. It looks like a bar caravan, you know, one of those when you go abroad, uh, a gin bar. <laughs> um, and then your typewriter, marvellous. So that is um, another set that you might want to go for. And again, I want you to take now that £5 saving that you can see on screen. If you want this, 1997-905099. And then we move on to our papers. Now you're getting double what you see here if you buy this separately. Uh, so you've got your 12 by 12s, uh, so you'll get eight sheets instead of the four, but it's like two of each, if you know what I mean. And also you'll get eight sheets of the A4, which are here. Um, I, again, uh, it's going to be two of each of these lovely designs that you see. You can see that they are double-sided. Uh, this here is 1099. Item number is 204846. Now, if you go for your end of call, you will get the washi tape, That's, uh, which is 399, right? So you've got your lovely washi tapes. However, if you want the whole lot, so that is the two options of the one day special, that is your um, happy moments, little extras with the die cut block and the stamp and the dies. And now instead of eight though, you'll get four of each of the papers or cardstock that we've just shown you. So four of the 12 by 12 and four of the A4 and you'll get the washi tape. Right, so remember those savings. We've taken 10 pound saving uh, from each of the one day special, that is 20 pounds. Then another five pound saving for the next bundle, that's 25 pounds off. Then we give you another 11 pounds off. However, if you're a Freedom member, there's an extra 10% off all of that. Goodness, yes, we must be mad, our Marcus has said. Right, what else, what else? is of course now you can split it twice if you're a freedom member two payments of 33 pounds and 41 pence see that is a no-brainer to get all of this all of these wonderful goodies that work together fantastically um i love these washi tapes look they're really cute so you're getting this the four in there uh, so that also comes as part of the um You've got five metre rolls here as part of the complete collection. Did we work out as a Freedom member how much is the complete saving? Oh, Emily will just do it now. She's on it. So if you're a Freedom member, £66.82. pence, Or you can spread the cost and get... Up. I love the pans that we do to show you everything that you get. I love that. Right, you will be saving £43.42 pence if you are a Freedom member, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, right, I've got some a few samples to show you. <laughs> oh dear, I'm in trouble again about my poncho again. I did this the other day on the other shift. They're like, you know, your poncho's in shot again, Alex. <laughs> again. Now look at these gorgeous images. I love. Look at the look at the little Polaroid. Uh, other brands available. Pictures that've been taken there and what's inside. There's the camera. Got a different camera. This is using the background die from the vintage type one day special. So you can see these work fantastically. You're just my type. Oh, I like that. That's cool. And then we've got this board. We've got some boards here which are fabulous. Some canvases. So you can see all of those wonderful details. Look at the little cat in there. He's cute. 
Uh, and then we've got this one, this gorgeous board. It's cool, isn't it? It's fun, it's funky, it's stylish. It takes you back in time, I, I think. And you know, and also, do you know what? It's happy. And I feel like we need a little bit of a uplift, but there's something about it that's like, you know, it takes us back to really nice times, if you will. So there's some gorgeous, gorgeous things that have been brought in for us. Look at these big, sorry, that was a bit big there to bring in. But look at this as a nice little planner uh, or diary. That looks too cool, doesn't it? Look at this with the, uh, with the beautiful camper van. That looks so groovy as well. I'm liking this. So remember, you are getting dies, you are getting stamps, you're getting paper pads, you're getting die cut blocks, um, you're getting 12 by 12 and A4 paper cardstock, you're getting your washi tape. All of this, I must, I'm just going to lean over because there's some over here of our lovely ladies. Um, look at these with our gorgeous ornate frames. Isn't she pretty? I love the sort of the, um, the leaves in her hair. That looks really cool. So it all works together absolutely fantastically. Right then, item number is uh, 455755. Uh, so yeah, do give us a call 01733602000 or of course you can check out on the website at hachanda.com. It's very busy out there, especially for the complete collection because that's when you get amazing value. And you know you can spread the cost on FlexiBuy. If you're new to us here, you don't have to wait until next month to receive all your goodies. No, we will ship it out to you once you've paid that first instalment. It is well worth setting yourself up to be a Freedom member because you're saving so much. We do have some more items on the show for you. Uh, these are your uh, Art is Life, Magic, Wild Heart and Just Be. You've got 21 dies in total. Uh, I love that. Magic is all around. Believe, story time. Uh, hello, Art is Life, translate, just make art. Yes, that's what it's all about. Makes us all happy, doesn't it? So for these lovely dies, look at all. I love the font, I have to say. Different types of font that you get, yeah. It's really nice. Uh, just ignore the monthly mega deal thing, that's uh, wrong. Uh, £24.99, £11 saving, 299.308. Lovely jubbly. Now, as I said, Lou has sent us some fantastic demonstrations via VT. So we're going to have a look at demo one, part one. Right, I'm loving this one. I'm so happy about this because it's got some things in that I really like. It's got the cameras, it's got these um, like little portraits that go in here but I've got my inches so we've all got them we've got this typewriter that's got these like little sayings on it that say like obviously fit within that um, you don't have to use it with that but these captured my attention straight away and these are these you get the back in the front and they make absolutely phenomenal I can't say it phenomenal were like picture frames like that so I could I just saw that and I thought right it's got to be 3d it's got to be vintage it's got to be like a mixed media piece so you know me so the first thing I did I've got some matte medium and the matte medium I'm using is obviously my favorite one of them I've got quite a few but at the moment it team it seems it's swinging between two but this is uh, a gel matte medium, so it is, as it says, it is matte medium, so you're going to get a matte finish. And uh, the reason, you give it a quick coat all over, um, and it sort of seals it as well. So even though I won't be gluing on the back, it might pick up on the table and stuff, I'm not really worried, but I can wrap stuff round. And by the time it's sort of, I'm gluing on this you'll you'll notice that it, it won't be sticking to the back so again i'm really sorry i know it's really difficult for you uh, to see this but once it's once it's down on the table you'll be all right so i'm just going to take some um vintage um music paper so this is where it becomes helpful that i've put that layer down because i've already got the layer on now i know there's plenty of glue on there and i'm just going to put one piece across and straight over with it now my advice if you've got one use a brayer if not get something with it like a room key or something like that and then that will help you to get all the air out and get a good layer down so we do that first then we get some text um now 
it seems quite strange but I wanted some text that I was just going to put on the edge there like that. I love the colour of this. And it's all coordinating. If you think about what I'm using, right, well, it's about cameras. It's about creativity. It's about, like, uh, writing and, and authors and all those sort of things. Now, I'm not too worried because I like this edge, this brown colour, but I'm not too worried about not putting anything down here because I will later on. So, good coverage. Make sure it's down here. Now, this is really important because you could do an amazing job on the top. And then when you come to look at it, you've not got enough glue underneath, it all drops off. So that's important. So we've got a layer down now. Now I want to show you that these are all the die cut pieces that I had left. And I'm not wasting them because I really think that these will make great, great additions to this. So I'm just going to build up with this. Now you've got to be careful, right? Because there's gonna be there could be some that I've got dodgy words on. So if you're thinking, well, what's she doing that for? Well, it's just layers. And the, the gel matte medium allows you to sort of you've got so long and it you can move it. Leaving that on there, because I'm going to bend it over, make sure that it sticks. And I will go back up at one point and glue all that down. So we've got a base like this. I'm going to use these cutouts as well. Well, I would have. I've just ripped the lot off. Um, little, so, you know, bits of words that are left. It, um, it doesn't matter. This is all going to be a background. So you build it up any way you like. Add as little or as much as you want. Now we've got these little squares and I'm also going to use these because I like these sort of interspersed with the others. Um, different ways. It's the same. It's just that you're using them in you know, when you die cut them, so easy to die cut. So, what you do is build all your layers up like that, and then when you're happy, and you've got enough like me, we'll come to applying just a really thin layer of gesso. Right, I'm also layering now. These are some of the letters that I had left that are, you know, stuck on the wrong way. I've got one of the windows there. I'm just putting, not everything down, I'm just putting pieces down, because I am going to paint this. And I wanted to show you another little trick. I don't quite want the um, flowers on this at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just for now, you can chop out the you can chop out the flowers and put them back on. But you can also in this here, you can take out the lettering if you want. So just pop out the they pop out really, and this is really. Really, th I've just pulled that off, but it doesn't matter. These are really difficult um, things to die cut this card. So you get all your bits out, and I don't care if they go on here quite like that. Stick them down because the more texture we've got, the better. So on here, you've got your keys as well. Don't forget all these come out. Look at that! Look at that! How cool is that? So I love this. So I've got two of these, but I'm going to collage one on here and I'm go I'm going to stick another one on the top. So I've put some die cuts already on here. So I don't want everything to be too straight so I'm gonna stick that on there. Should I do you know this is more I can't believe how ornate this is. You know when you you look at it and you think oh that's not is that it's die cut. Yeah it is it's die cut. So I'm going to use this as a low relief. Any little bits that are on there I'm going to stick on. And I put the words heart and stuff on and this is like all the stuff to do with as I think and then some more world. Um, you know, rip off a word and have it some missing and some not. Have it 3D, quite like that. And stick that time heart story around. Different fonts. Um, I'm not too sure whether I want uh, flowers or anything just yet um, but I'll stick that on there right so what you do is you make sure that you've got plenty of gesso on this, uh, sorry you make sure you've got plenty of gel medium on so there we go and just another one down here just to go over here for just to give it a little bit of something on there I know I've got it in different fonts but it's 
it's just to add texture to it so I quite like that can add a few more just be yeah I like that down there now I'm going to paint over a lot of these so you know what you're seeing now is not what you're going to see at the end really you're going to it's going to sort of get some sort of coherence with the paint so I've got it like that and the next thing you do really simply this is only the first layer is you get a tiny bit of gesso now somebody's just said you've not wet it it dried it doesn't matter I'm always under the opinion that gesso is wet and so is glue so and I'm just going to dry brush very gently because I want these things to still be seen but what I don't want them to be is too obviously different in colour so I want the things you can see underneath I want it to build up paint in between I want you to get texture and then really you must leave this people I see people trying to dry at uh, force dry some of this and I'll be honest with you if you just wait a little bit longer or do it lasting then you do get better, better time um, at the end adding it all together and you get better quality I think personally anyway but I'm really impressed with that didn't know it had all that detail on it just shows you when you first see a die cut and you think oh that's not got much detail so you do that I mean I don't need to show you anymore but don't cover too much because we're going to do some more but you must leave that to dry don't forget to paint your string as well so I'm going to leave that there now I might add some more but I think I'm going to leave that to dry until tomorrow and don't go anywhere because we're showing part two still in this hour now if you've got anything in your basket do make sure you're checking out it's because uh, this is the time while i'm waffling so that then you don't miss any of lou's demos basically but check it out and then you can sit back relax and know you've got it uh, and then you can yeah watch lou's demos okay so this is your first option of the one day special it's called your vintage type. You've got the fabulous stamp of the typewriter. It's got lovely flowers on. You've got the other wonderful, it's a rose, I think. And you've got the letter with the roses in and it's like a love letter. I think this is superb. I think you'll use this background die again and again and again. It's really cool. And then you've also got the extras there. You know, you've got your ticket, you've got the bow. It's really good. And you are also getting the paper pad, which I'll have a little flick through. Again, this is really nice because it's lovely and contemporary. It's got a really nice, bright vibe to it. Um, loving these uh, colours, lovely chevrons. Definitely a chevron theme going on here. That works well with that background dye, doesn't it? Uh, even more. And then it sort of repeats itself, you can see. So you get a, getting a couple of each of the sheets. Uh, 36 sheets, nine patterns, there you go. And it's 170 GSM. So that's your vintage type. Then you go for you can go for your ornate frame, and it, uh, this one up out of the two is the most popular. I predicted it. Uh, right there we go. You've got your lovely um, d uh, stamps at the top with that wonderful cameo. I do love a cameo. Again, it sort of transports you back in time. I feel, and it's got the wonderful frame, and then you've also got those lovely flowers next to it, which are, you know flowers not going to date, are they? You can, so useful. And then you come down to the bottom where we've got our big cameo die set. Here she is, just coming onto the screen, and you've got those lovely flourishes and florals. They're brilliant, aren't they? I love the detail. It's like almost like an ivy detail um, in that you can uh, make her ornate with and then again if I pick up the paper pad to show you this one again you've got 36 sheets nine patterns and it's 170 GSM so that is a good weight loving that again that goes with the previous lovely background die so you see how well they all work together uh, so useful for your matting and layering and just adding those lovely extra elements to them there we go and as I said then we start to I love that one yeah and then we start to um, repeat there we go uh, so that those are your two options of the one day special it's 27 pounds and 89 pence 184973 but don't forget you've got the 10 pound saving from this one and the 10 pound saving from this one they carry over so think 20 pounds carrying over for now then we've got another stamp and die set plus we've got a um, die cut block which i really really like so 
take a little look at uh, what you've got here. This is the cool one where you've got the camera and also you have got the typewriter. This time it's in die form. Um, I really like those. And there's little stamps at the bottom. Should we have a little look? If I, can I? Oh, they're separate, are they? Oh, hang on. Let me try and get them. Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to wreck the pack shot. What does it say? It says, you're just my type. Lots of love. It's time, it's time for your story. Sorry, I nearly misread that. It's time for your sorry. No, it's time for your story. Shall we see? Let's see. Yeah, they'll fit in there, won't they? So that's cool. You've got those stamps there. And then at the bottom of this one, hang on. Uh, look, you've got the little cameos. Nice. Oh, and there's that lovely little girl. She's a bit cheeky. And then you've also got flowers. That's cool, isn't it? Uh, so you've got those. And then, of course, you've got the die cut block, which I will uh, pick up. We really like these. Um, so you've got, you know, retro. You've got your... A record player. I've still got one. Uh, you've got, look, I love her. She's got a ponytail. You've got tickets. You've got the cameo. I adore the camper van. Um, and it's like, it's a little flower shop. And then you've got a beach hut here. Uh, I guess that's where, do you think that's where the lifeguard sits? Possibly. Flip flops, ice cream. <laughs> it's like Baywatch, other shows available. Uh, you've got some uh, words in there. Um, I love the cat. Well, of course I would, because I have one. And there's Swan as well more flowers i love this this is like going on holiday and having a bar do you think people will start doing this here now because we can't go abroad i don't know um, and then we've got our typewriters now we're nearly 20 percent of this bundle gone um look at these i'm liking these a lot there's something for the kids as well nearly 20 percent of this uh, bundle has gone this has a five pound saving which will also carry over when we do the complete collection the next thing that we've got is if you wanted these separately to the complete what you'll get is eight um sheets of your 12 by 12 so that's um two, uh, four designs two of each and then you'll also get eight designs of your A4. Again, that's uh, four designs, two of, two of each. I always get that wrong. Uh, that is 10.99, And then you've also got, if you are just wanting one item, your end of call option will be your washi tape. However, if you get the complete collection, you'll get the washi tape anyway you'll get four 12 by 12 sheets of the a uh, uh, 12 by 12 four of the sheets of the a4 then you'll also get that bundle that i've just shown you with the die cut block and the stamp and dies which are really cool and you'll get both of the one day specials both of them so you literally everything that you're seeing right now you will get we've got to talk about those savings then you can take £10 from there, £10 from here, £5 from this one. <laughs> We're coming. £5 from this one. So then that is a £25 saving already. If you're not a Freedom member, you get an extra £11 off that. But if you are a Freedom member, a further 10%, which means the total saving is £43.42. Is that right? Oh, did it right. £43.42 off that is cool then as if that wasn't good enough goodness we spoil you here um, you can spread the cost two ways on flexi freedom for 33.41 now that is some deal it really is and as i said when you um when you check out your baskets as a uh, as your first flexi buy payment i'm just getting some samples you haven't seen then um, we will ship it out to you once you've paid that first instalment. Now, look at these samples. Aren't they wonderful? I love them. Um, I don't know if, uh, if Lou's done them all or if some are from the design team. Now, watch this. Look, isn't that awesome? That's a really nice, nice card to send to somebody. Okay, we are over 10% of the complete collection and we have a deep stock. Because, you know, whenever Lou is on, you know, we love her products, don't we? Um, and then we've got this one. It's time to tell your story because that lovely sentiment is in uh, the complete collection. This is cool. It reminds me a little bit of Andy Warhol. Yeah, other, other artists are available. Um, and then look at this canvas. Now, that is really cool too. 
and then going from really grungy to look how contemporary this is it's really nice see that background dye very very useful we're liking this you know she comes with that lovely ornate i think it's ivy that's uh, sort of growing there and it fits her brilliantly and let's show you a typewriter oh excellent okay we've got some images from alison as well who is part of the design team he, oh bless you couldn't get the samples here well we're so chuffed you sent the pictures love 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 the camper van it's so funky isn't it beautiful uh, here we go. Here's our lovely lady. I think we do have one. Have we got one? Uh, yes, we do have that one in the studio. Oh, maybe we, maybe they arrived. Oh, okay. Well, still, we can look at the pictures, can't we? Oh, yes. Yes, they arrived. Oh, I'm so pleased then. We can show them live. Which Oh, we haven't got that one, though. So that one isn't here. Um, maybe there was sent. So that's cool, though. I love what she's wearing. I want an outfit like that. That's nice. That's that typewriter. Uh, I, I love the um, little cameo in the corner. That's also really good. That's a really nice like canvas we've got. Oh yes, we've just seen that one. So I think I think we've um, got most of these. That one to see though with the little girl. That was really quite cute though as well. All you need to do then is give us a call 01733602000, or you can check out on the website at hachanda.com. Right, so please check out your baskets because this next VT is about 15 minutes long and I know you won't, you won't want to leave the telly then. So just check out your baskets to make sure you've got what you want from this show and then you can sit back, relax and here's Lou. Right, okay, nice and dry now. The thing is you do need to leave it to dry properly. We're a bit, well I'm very impatient. So what I've got is, I've got um, a text stamp that, you know, you may have one of your own, you choose whichever you want. And I've got some vintage photo, no I haven't, I've got brush corduroy for the change and some forest moss. Right, so the first thing to first, what I did is, in the little pack that I cut, you get these wonderful, like, snapshots. You get these wonderful snapshots so you can actually put them on there and you can put the back backing on them so you can, i could actually put that on a backing it's ever so clever so what i can do show you it's done that so you can put it like that or vice versa so a text paper it sort of comes with what i'm doing so i've actually backed all these as you can see and then i got some old i know terrible terrible cigarette papers um, and these cards have great images on them so I've gone ahead and glued them so you can see just the little images they're going to look good on it because it's all about reporting and time and it, diaries and stuff so it gives you that feel so it came together thinking about that and what do I want so um, I, I will show you quickly how to do one of them all I've done is I've got a picture I've got a picture of ooh, film and stage beauties and then I just got the frame just positioned it where I wanted it like that glued it on I mean that's backwards so glued it on left it to dry but if you have got some of the glue that you're allowed uh, that you can die cut that's even better so cut them out and they're going to be placed everywhere next thing i want to add some texture to this and i want to add some different sort of bit more text now i don't care if it's upside down i only want little bits and i just want it sort of peeping through areas excuse me so because I've got these three dimensional, I'm keeping it on the block for that reason. Because we've got these three dimensional elements here, it's going to miss a lot. So it won't go everywhere. But if you do feel that you would like to get some text in, perhaps a place, take it off the block and use it like that. So I'm just going to do a bit more. That's it, quite like that. So the next thing is I'm going to make like a, a green, a greeny brown give it a bit more age because that doesn't look like it's got much age i must admit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix a little bit of brush corduroy and forest moss so i've got this like warm color coming through so i'm just going to dab a bit on my block keep this out of the way because i know it's shiny um put them there then paintbrush 
tiny bit of water and you can bring in this to your work. So I'm going to just drop in some colours and then water it, water it out. So again, get the green, bring a bit of water to the green and just, and it will, it will actually um, fade some of the writing, but don't worry about that. We're just trying to get a little bit of colour into it. So I don't like that too much, so I'm going to fill it out. So I might drop in some darker stuff and in between here to give it a little bit more texture just there and let the pool water pool up in, in there sort of and you can and you can pull it down. There. So you're going to do that all over to give it a bit of texture and a bit of life. Um You'll have to excuse me, sorry, um, uh, my nose if I'm sniffing, I do apologise how horrible that is. So I've got that there, so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more to that and then we'll come to the very last bit where we're ageing it more and then we're adding the last final touches. Right, so we've got this sort of colour, you can see I've added some little bits, only little bits, nothing else. I've put the, the word dyes, stuck them on like wild, heart, story, time, around, but I've got some ink now and I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Now it looks really bad when I do it like this, but bear with me and I should have cleaned my nozzles. Always oh, clean your nozzles. Anyway, so you go, you do that and you're thinking, ah, oh, yeah. I do as well, but then you get a dry brush and you're like, no, and you really rush, really, really scrub it in, get it in all over. It looks awful, I know. Now, I've got green, way too much now, so I'll bring it into there so you can see now this looks horrible yep totally agree totally agree i've got dark bits light bits but you can see the bits that i've just stuck down and you you can sort of understand i can understand why people go oh, what you're doing now and yeah i do but the thing is a lot of the things i do techniques and mistakes and it's only after i've done them but you don't learn if you don't make mistakes, do you? So what you do now is really, see, it's not that bad. But I'm trying to be sort of, I'm just titivating over the top like that. So I'm not trying too much. I'll show you what I'm, If you push in, what you tend to do is drag all the colour out again. So can you see everything's jumping out? So you do it again. But this time, I'm going to go in with a brush. And this is one of my Chinese brushes and uh, these hold so much. And this is, I'm just going to be a little bit more with the words. Now I don't want all this round the back. So what you do with this is you just pull out at the edges because what you don't want is the edges to be sort of showing like that you want the edges to sort of fade away so you put only then do you put a little bit of water around the edges and let that sink out uh, sink in and then you can do again now you can do this as many times as you want if you've got a sponge a household sponge or even a bit of fat foam you could just wipe a li as little or as much off and you could do this any colour it works on any colour but it's great for ageing articles or making them look old and rusty. Oh, do you know what? I forgot this technique. And I was just looking the other day. And I was looking through one of my books and it was there. And I was like, oh, where's that going? Now use this because this will put on a little bit of more colour for you. Now I like this bit up here. But I think I need a little bit down here. So don't be shy. You can go in again. Put a little bit more on. So you do this and you can use any colour you want. I'm tending to stick for the browns I've got here. Now even though you can hardly see the text, I know it's there. So you do that with everything. Now I've got this word forever 
and I've got this um, ink as well and what I'm going to do is just try a little bit of ink on here now it might be too can you see it's not really dry but I'm not really worried about that because it's it's gonna sink in because it's this is that um it's like what is it balsa wood so it's like balsa wood so you can't really see it so just see see tiny bit it don't matter then what you do is remember earlier one of the other ones we went in with um our stamp which is a text one now everybody's got text but it might be earlier or uh sorry it might, this is an earlier one this is an earlier text ages ago i think oh a couple of might be a might be about a year ago actually that that studio light brought us but you do most people have text stamps so you get the green as well and you put the green on now don't forget i know it's already right so what i want you to do now is just have a quick look at how that as just have a quick look how that has sort of sunk in. There's a little still bit of dress gesso on there that's still a little bit wet and it's brought the colours out and it's mingling. The stamp, the letter is, uh, letters are just pulling out slightly so it's not severe, but you can go in now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a couple more colours and then what we'll do is, we'll get all our stuff, bring it all back and we'll continue to add it and then finish the whole thing. Right, okay, so you can see how i put that i started to stick a few bits on just to let you see what it looks like if you've got a text out of a book don't forget to put it on your um that might be a bit rude that bit so i'm not put that bit on put a bit on there like that stick it down properly then i've got my distress cranes and i'm thinking i really like this green i think it'll really go and it'll really really go with the forest moss so what I'm going to do is just bring the green back in a little bit now don't worry because these have come off a little bit don't worry because you can take them off so I'm not being neat well when have I ever um, I'm just so you can see highlighting areas and the water I've used on the watercolour I've, it, it's allowed it um, to be a bit slick because it's still damp just be careful because you'll stick you'll pull everything off but uh, so I'm happy with that so what I'm going to do now is just show you I've got this word forever and the way I'm going to cover it is I'll leave it on there um, that way I'm going to start that way because I'm going to have to show you how to do it let me undo this and show you I've put the words on and I'm just getting a little bit there and I'm just putting it there on the edge and then I'm, I'm sorry you may not see but I've just got to let it drip down and I want to just let it drip so I'll just show you and you just angle it like this show it better that way and you can put some more water on it so you can do that if you want or a water spray and then let that come down can you see and now that there will be the highlight but it's wet bit too wet to stick but you can do all sorts on that later on so we've got this I'm going to hope for oh sorry I'm gonna to have to hopefully put a bit of glue down that to keep that then I've got some um extra bits this is these are the ones that I wanted to put on I really like these little bit and because they're the same colour they don't add too much they just they just add enough not heavy or you know, overpowering I've got a little bit of colour coming in there I've got words coming in there I don't think I need that actually but I have got these as well and these are like the, the keys on a typewriter so you just put I'm going to put them randomly like that so they're not actually spelling anything they, they can be on top of other things but the last little bit is going to be um about bringing the colour back so I've cut one in half and I thought it oh that's a bit wonky isn't it and I thought what I might do is just have a couple off so that they look like they're off I don't want it too contrived you see so I'm quite happy with that 
I might I might just take that from there and put it here and then just put, locate it to the end like I say though you really should let all this dry properly I'm faffing right so when you've got all that done how you should do it what you do need to do now is just the last little bit and what you've got to do is get a cleanish paintbrush get your gesso now this is where you've got to dry your brush and it doesn't matter about that because you want a bit of colour on it so you've really got to dry your brush off because you don't want water so I've pushed gesso right into that and then this is the easy bit you dry it off, dry it on, you sort of take it off, take it off and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it alive so now you can see all the images of the words coming back to life because they do get stuck in they sort of get lost keep drying your brush and I'll just do the top ones and show you rough it in a bit if you want just the old words to come out or little single things so what you do now is to me I would just mess around a tiny bit would oh, move that for a start mess around and you would but to me that's done I'd stick that on there be happy with that maybe bring a little bit more white into it but I'm for less all done there hope you enjoyed that I love that one really like that that turned out so cool, didn't it? Some, like Lou says, uh, very openly, sometimes you don't know where she's going with it and then suddenly you end up with this amazing masterpiece and that is what's happened there. Right, uh, just a quick reminder of one of our seven day savers that we've got for you. It is our Fiskars. Uh, if you're needing some new scissors, I have loads of scissors. I don't think you can have too many, to be honest. They're dotted around the house and loads in the craft room. Um, right, so it's 24 centimetres long. It's nice, it's universal and it is um, ergonomically designed. It's got a nice grip to it, really lovely. Um, and of course, uh, it's got that little bit there that you can tighten should it loosen a little bit. So you can tighten the, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, uh, we, oh, I don't know how many layers of fabric it would cut through. We'd have to, we'd have to put it to the test, wouldn't we? Now that is um, eight pounds off. So it's 11 pounds and 99 pence. 766547 is the item number. But we are coming back to the all important one day specials, but complete collection is the one that you are going for. So we have two options of the one day special, which we just saw there. Um, so if we have a little look, uh, you have got your vintage type. That's your first option with your stamp of a typewriter. You've also got that sentiment. Say yes to new crafting projects. I like that. That's a bit of a different stamp sentiment, isn't it? Then you've got your flower and you've got your lovely letter um, with the roses in and then this is one of my favourite, favourite items on the show because it is so useful. It's one that you will use so many times. Diamond background die. And then you've also got this set here with lots of lovely, it's kind of got your um, bow, uh, lots of extras. It's got a ticket. And then you're also going to be getting your paper pad. Now in your paper pad, uh, it's 170 GSM. You've got 36 sheets and nine patterns and again this is really cool works so well it's lovely and contemporary it works so well with that background dye and then you've got uh, this reminds me of beach huts i don't know why um, and then we've got the chevrons there um, you could get your gel pens onto this one and then there's that gorgeous um, colorful card why are you still here catherine <laughs> Oh, it's the seven o'clock. Why do I think I were at eight o'clock? I don't know why I just did this. Sorry, I thought I was at eight o'clock. I was like, she should have gone home by now. <laughs> uh, right, there you go. So that is your paper pad, and then you've got your repeats. Um, that the other option then. I've really lost track of time. This one is the ornate frame. This one is the most popular out of the two of the one day specials. So you can see you have got your stamp cameo and surrounded by a lovely oval frame. Uh, you've also got those gorgeous flowers, can never have too many. You could keep cutting them out and decoupaging them up. And then we move down to our lovely um, dies with the, again, the cameo. She's got some 
um, it's like ivy that you can decorate it with plus you've got the ovals and then you've also got the lovely foliage in terms of the paper pad you get with this one uh, let's have a little look through these again that matches the die in the uh, first option love these gorgeous pages look at these um, the colours are really nice, aren't they? The blues and the purples and the greens. That is excellent. And I think that's the last one. And then it starts... Oh, no, one more. And then it starts to repeat. Lovely. And then... So, if either option, £27.89, £10 saving here, £10 saving here, and they will carry over to the complete. Then you're really liking this extra bundle. Uh, Happy Moments, it's called. It's good fun, these. So you've got your lovely typewriter. This time it's in die form. You've also got some sentiments down there. Um, plus, you have got your camera and your actual photo. So you can put a photo in there. You can see you've got some stamps too with the cameo and the little girl. She's there. And then finally, we've got the um, die cut block, which is really also very cool. I love this die cut block. Uh, 20 die cut sheets. And it's uh, 170 GSM again. And look, you can see our gorgeous record player. There's the camper van. Uh, wonderful with the beach hut and the ice cream. I love the glasses. They're so 60s. Uh, yeah, Audrey Hepburn, they're saying other actresses are available. Uh, I am as well, if anybody, if any agents are watching. <laughs> uh, you've got the cat there <laughs> and the swan. Lovely flowers. Um, you've got the uh, signs, look, look, you've got summer vibes, beach house, cocktails, camping bar, that's what that is, uh, lighthouse, adventure, surf school, bird islands, ice cream and paradise beach. Oh, so nice. There's your typewriter. There's our lovely little girl, she's blowing some bubblegum. Ah, oh, roller skating. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. I'll tell you a story at some point about roller skating. Um, uh, so this option is 1997 and it's five pounds off. That also carries over 905099. Then if you want to go for the papers individually, you're going to be getting eight of your 12 by 12. So you've got four designs, you'll get two of each. Plus you'll also get eight of your four by four, uh, four by four, A4, that's what I mean. Eight of your A4, Again, four designs, two of each, and that is 1099 at 204946. Uh, if you go for anything individually, your end of call option will be your washi tape, which are really, really lovely. However, if you want to go for the complete collection, you will get this washi tape. You'll get four A4, four uh, 12 by 12. You'll get that lovely set with the typewriter and the cameos and the die cut block. You'll also get your one day special here uh, with all of the stamps and dies and paper pad. And you'll also get the one day special here, again, with all of these stamps and dies and paper pad. So it really is a fantastic deal. So, gosh, I'm out of breath. So you get the £10 saving from each of the one-day specials, which is £20. Then you get the further £5 from this one. And then you get a further £11 if you're not a Freedom member. Or if you are a Freedom member, you get a further 10% off, which means as a Freedom member, your entire saving is £43.42. That is phenomenal value please don't miss out on it and you can also check out on flexibite two payments of 33 pounds and 41 pence and everything here will be yours oh yeah uh, don't forget it will be dispatched from the 5th of june right then just to finish off let's say, show you some more samples this is a brilliant sample oh this is handmade by susie and it's brilliant because you've got it's like your planner or your diary and it just looks so super cool. I'd love to buy something like this. Do you know what I mean? I just think it's really lovely. And then, um, hang on, I've got another couple of canvases. Let's have a little looky-loo. Uh, here's this one. Again, that's so wonderful. Using a lot of those uh, die-cut blocks from the, no, die-cuts from the die-cut block. There you are. And then we've got another one here which looks super cool. That's using some of the paper pads as well. And then I've got to show you the camper van because I really like the camper van. Um, we're running out of time for me to show you more samples, but I am going to be back at eight o'clock. So will Lou. I think we're going to see her again via Skype. Um, 
and yes, lots of different demonstrations. She sent loads in. Item number is 455755. You can call us on the usual number 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com. But please do check out your baskets. This is a wonderful one day special and complete collection. It is cool.